Alright, Bucko, so today we have a lot of drama on them internet streets. If you like to navigate around them internet streets, you probably have heard of this YouTuber that loves to send channels to YouTube heaven. He loves to strike, which is a no-no. That's a massive sin on them YouTube streets, okay? Nobody loves that, and a lot of people are rightfully mad, people are angry. And ladies and gentlemen, quite frankly, we're gonna be diving right into it, because we are talking about Brand Rivera. And to understand this situation, I came across this channel, I came across Brent Rivera when I was like 13 years old, and I truly got nothing against him. The guy is successful! I got respect for that, but now he's out there just trying to nuke them videos because a couple of weeks ago, you know what, I'm gonna roll this video. Drop a thumbs up and let's see this. I really hope the situation does not progress. If it does, I will be making an update video letting you guys know what's um, going on. It, um, spoiler alert, it actually did. That was me about three hours ago. In a frenzy because I had a community guidelines warning, my very first offense, because of content made on Brent Rivera. This wasn't my first okay. time having content made exclusively on Brent get taken down, as I made two TikToks in the past that were deleted very quickly, with the main subject being Brent Rivera. As I was editing the video, I was frantically checking my email, waiting to see a response from my appeal to the community guidelines violation. When all of a sudden, around 4 a.m., I received this email. Copyright takedown request received for you. Ladies and gentlemen, as Penguin Z uh, once said, a, a chocolate milk doesn't come from brown cows, and that's exactly what I want to see. Brent Rivera is the type of guy that thinks that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. Th this is where his ego's at. And a couple of weeks ago, apparently, somebody called him out. I believe Tyler is his name, right? No disrespect, I, I don't Bruh. remember. Uh, Tyler, apparently, you know, he wanted a little bit of that pie. He wanted that good, good uh, internet cloud, internet, uh, internet money. And he went ahead and he caught and spotted Brent Rivera in a hotel and he went ahead and he was like do, do you fake do you fake your pranks bro and he said that obviously uh no bro i don't fake my pranks bro like you twin or something he went completely bozo and now apparently dumpy uh this youtuber is blowing up right now i mean listen man that's what i'm saying bro that guy has 25 brent rivera has 25 million subs bro People are making videos, and the fact that you just took down one video, and allegedly, okay, we do not even know if he did or not. That's the crazy part. That's the crazy part, right? Stop the oh, cat. Shit. Oh, like, shit. that's the crazy part. We don't even know if he real, if he was the guy that took the video down. Let's be real, he probably was. Bruh. But apparently, the streets are saying that it could be his team, right? It could be his team. But the situation that uh, here is actually wild. Just because he took down his video, or his team took down his video, my guy is actually just finessing them, he's making that paper, he's rolling in that algorithm, and uh, that's uh, that's the game, guys. Your Learn YouTube video Learn by YouTube grow. copyright. I'm not gonna lie, as soon as I received this, I immediately went to Twitter. I said, whoa, what is going on? I sent some screenshots out, and I basically just stated, yo, this guy's abusing the copyright system because my videos fall under fair use. Brett Rivera is being a little itty-bitty witty. But then... <laughs> I thought to myself, this email did look a little bit sketchy. The email name was kind of weird, and then if you clicked on the YouTube icon, it sent you to this weird link that didn't actually send you to a real website. It just sent you to some just random thing. And then I thought to myself, oh my god, what if this is fake? Like, what if this is a fake email? I was in a call with some friends, yeah. and I showed them the email, and they thought it looked suspicious too. And immediately I was like, dude, I do not want to get hacked. What if I get hacked and get turned into one of those crypto things? Like, I don't want to do that. So I changed yeah. my password and did some other security measures, and then I went to live chat and said, hey, hey I think. Hey guys, uh, just a good rule of thumb is that just get a security key, my guy. Like, I got like like three of these this is just one right on my table i got two in a secure bag somewhere that i don't even know i mean I, I know where they are but you know what that's how you need to roll you need to get it if you're a youtuber that's a must okay you gotta get that google advanced program you want to get that protection and everything like that you need to get those usb keys guys i think this is a fake email i clicked on something inside the email and now i flick them and get hacked after being on hold for like 20 minutes they finally say we reviewed it and actually it was us it was the copyright team i literally uh -oh. thought they were lying like it, it just the email was so sketchy but this other YouTuber named GE Vids ran me through some other emails and it looked pretty oh, identical. Shit. There were a few things that were off, but we kind of came to the conclusion that, you know, I guess it's just YouTube being weird. But since the email was verified by YouTube, cross checked with other emails, let me show you exactly what Brent Rivera did. Let me show you exactly oh, what Brent Rivera said, okay? Because I'm still awake. It's 7 a.m. and my mind is melting. I've had so many videos unfairly taken down. See, see what I was saying, guys? It doesn't matter what time it is. Uh, the second you get that nuclear drop on your channel, you're wide awake. You're hitting everybody up. That's the game right For now, man. Swearing. When I don't even swear in my videos anymore the worst i'll say is yeah. bubblegum pump but let me show you the brent rivera copyright claim takedown because it is so ridiculous and he attempted to break copyright 
copyright law by doing what mm -hmm. he did. We received the copyright infringement notification below regarding your videos. We believe your content is protected by fair use, fair dealing, or a similar exception to copyright protection. We are ready to let you know that we do not plan to remove your videos at this time. Dude, at least Team YouTube has my back. Oh my god. Brett Rivera had the- And that's the craziest part, okay? The, the, the fact that Team YouTube actually helped for the first time? I mean, I gotta- I gotta clap up for Team YouTube for this one, guys. Audacity to say. My YouTube video was re-uploaded by another user. Uh, no, Ow. it wasn't. My video was transformative. I made a whole video of my Bruh. own work out of your content, reacting to it, picking it apart. And you said, where does the content appear? <laughs> no, the guys, 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 okay. Uh, stop the cap. Okay, pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. Listen. Reaction content, if it's transformative, that is perfectly fine. Now, to understand this situation, everybody, okay? Everybody, you as well, okay? If you're watching this video, uh, like if you're if you're sitting back, like toying around with your with your uh, you're doing like uh, I cannot say the word on YouTube. Even you have the the rights, okay? If somebody re-uploads your content, you can nuke. You can drop a nuke on it, okay? You can drop a nuke. But if somebody is actually making their own content, they're talking, they're reacting, it falls under fair use. That fair use laws protects you from that. Now, obviously, there are certain scenarios where fair use law does not protect you. If you're watching movies, you're pausing, you're like, eh, 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 that look good, that look good. Oh, damn, son. Then, obviously, that does not protect you. I'm, I'm sorry to say that, but you're still gonna get a nuke dropped on you because movies and tv shows that's different tv shows and pay-per-views that's different but come on son like it's a youtube video he did not re-upload he simply talked about that fa his favorite content creator brent rivera Bruh. he was talking about his favorite content creator damn son by your video he went after not one but two of my youtube videos and then there's all this mumbo jumbo i'm gonna censor this even though i feel like i don't even have to but basically it just says if you lie and you misrepresent what actually happened you can result in the termination of his youtube show Stop the cap. Don't cap, guys. Don't cap. Channel. He literally signed that and did it anyways and blatantly lied, and I guarantee you there will be no repercussions for his actions. Also, I'm sorry in advance if I sound like Captain Crunch in this video. I'm pretty tired. And I want to say, Brent Manda, man, sincerely, screw you, dude. Sincerely, screw you. I was nothing but fair to you in the video. And I got so many comments like, oh, it's obviously you're biased because he did this. No, I was never biased, dude. I was always down the line, even when he was blowing me on TikTok and doing all this other stuff. But now you're trying to copyright, take down my videos and abuse copyright law. Like, do you know how bad that is? Like, I doubt anything will happen, but dude, you can't do that. And this isn't even the first time either. He did it to Tyler. And it's just like, what are you thinking? I wonder if YouTube says, you know, misusing this tool can result in your channel being banned as just like a way to scare people and it doesn't really gotcha, do anything. Bitch. No. Uh, to understand the situation guys like youtubers are really the type of dudes that research on google five minutes before making a video Bruh. and everybody's like trying to nuke each other like guys like come on man let's let's make content let's make content you know? anything Drop because I, i'm telling you me. man i was not the first it happened to tyler and it probably happened to a lot of i know it happened to rith too that's three people but yeah i'm pretty upset by all this and i recorded a whole like 10 minute video before the copyright stuff happened which i'll play after all this but dude i'm just so frustrated i'm tired i just i just want you to leave me alone brent like i don't know what it takes like do you want me to stop making videos on you i'll stop man but just leave me alone okay that's cap Wrong. come on come on man you're not gonna stop making videos because let me tell you the game about youtube guys and i do that everybody do that if you have the opportunity, if you're a YouTuber, let me know how many of you guys are making videos, okay? Because if you make a video and if one of your video goes viral, that's an indication right from the God of, the, from the algorithm and from God, from the higher power telling you, you need to continue making that video. If your video bangs, you gotta keep on going, champ. You gotta keep on making the same content. You gotta milk that. You gotta milk that sucker dry, okay? You need to make that because this is where it's at. You, you, people always complain about remaster games. People always complain and myself included like i mean let's Bruh. go real. can a brother get some new stuff but that's they know if a game if a movie works they need to come out with a remaster or a sequel and that's the same thing with youtube and blame the algorithm i mean don't hit the player uh, hit the game right he's not gonna stop making those brent rivera videos right because he is actually killing it on youtube because of brent rivera videos his entire channel is starting to do good and that goes with everybody on youtube man because once your videos start doing good if one video start doing good you make a follow-up that's gonna bang you make a follow-up again that's gonna bang and you just hope that rest of your content takes off off uh, with, with it uh, alongside it as well that's the game keep chasing those social credits uh kiddos oh man but will i really stop
<laughs> it's just crazy. Like, I'm just making joke videos. Fair use, not breaking the law. I'm not re-uploading your content. I'm just lying, but don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. It gets worse. He says more, okay? He says more. Brett responded to a bunch of questions that YouTube sent him about copyright and, like, how much I stole his video. And uh, I'll read it for you guys because it's very entertaining. How much of your copyrighted work is used? Most of the video were my original videos from my YouTube channel. No other original Brett. content from the creator was shown. False lies. If you watch any of my Brett Rivera videos, Whoa. they were my own work, okay? Nobody watched them and was like, oh my god, it's just Brent's video. Like, come on, why are you lying? This guy is yeah. just no- Anybody knows what game is that? One for lying at this point. How is the market for your original work affected by this use? You know, how is the market of all the two-year-olds who watch your content? Like, am I really biting into that market by just copying your video? It affects it negatively. Yeah, okay, dude, I'm sure it does. Does this use significantly transform your original work, or does it serve the same purpose? It serves the same purpose. It does not transform it at all. This guy literally sounds like a psychopath. Like, like uh, uh, me trying to explain this is making me want to punch my monitor, dude. Like, I am so frustrated. I'm so stressed out. Brent. Like, Brent, you are making, like, you're making yourself look so dumb. I can't say that, or else he'll get my videos taken down, dude. Yeah, I can't, true. I can't speak on this subject. True, true, 500 IQ, don't do it. Check that all. Does this use fall into an exception to copyright protection? Please note that we may share your response with the uploaders. No, it isn't fair use since the uploader did not adjust the content at all and is most of his video. Wow. I, pff, really got me with that one, dude. I want to let guys, you guys- Guys, check this out. So, Indie Fox, this chick went haywire. She went crazy. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left. We had a massive UFO video leak the, the, and a lot of other stuff in that video. They don't want you seeing that. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.